hello and welcome so uh, uh, today i am going to deliver you something about manufacturing uh, the, the subject manufacturing and how to prepare for gate okay so this video i am making because of getting some request uh, about the same uh, from some of my juniors and some of my friends okay so uh, first of all uh, it is always recommended to prepare uh, with uh, with I mean uh, to go for the uh, full preparation okay that is to study everything um, uh, everything and uh, let me say that uh, uh, everything means just by seeing the gate syllabus uh, we can't understand because they because they have written their uh, some uh, some uh, words uh, which actually captures various things okay so i will put some links of some uh, youtube videos of some uh, channels okay so you can refer to that and apart from that uh, you can go to some uh, obviously there are good coaching institutes and also very good uh, NPTEL videos so uh, i will put the links uh, of all those videos uh, obviously none of them have uh, give me uh, anything some promotion or some monetary help or anything okay so i have prepared by those and that's why uh, i will uh, recommend those okay so by referring to those free uh, youtube videos also you can cover the full manufacturing and also if anyone has uh, subscribed to some online coachings or offline coachings so then also you will be covering up all the things okay and now this thing uh, now this thing the full preparation uh, this will uh, work for you uh, if uh, if you uh, you have uh, enough time right but if you are someone who don't uh, who does not have enough time okay so then uh, just uh, just believe me based upon your luck you can uh, score uh, good marks in manufacturing for gate just by covering the 60 to 70 percent uh, syllabus of the manufacturing obviously there is a luck factor okay so i personally uh, did not have much time as I was studying in Jadapur, uh, in Jadapur uh, University and I was having my classes. So that is why and I always uh, used to uh, attend the most of the classes. Okay. So I, so I did not have uh, much time and that's why I went for the second one and that is the partial preparation. Okay. So I covered almost uh something 65 to 70 percent syllabus okay and you can also do that but obviously there is a luck factor that is if most of the question uh, comes from the remaining uh, syllabus okay so then what can you do okay i mean then uh, nothing uh, is uh, in uh, your hand okay so uh, actually for my case manufacturing was not the thing that uh, i was planning for my future studies okay so and and uh, if there is someone uh, who is studying for uh, uh, production and aiming to go for the higher studies uh, in the production then uh, he or she um, has to study the manufacturing in the bachelor course in depth okay so this strategy has worked for me okay and i think this strategy should uh, work for you okay so but in iit uh, sorry in gate 2023 the manufacturing section uh, was a bit trickier okay but how i managed that 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 uh, that uh, i will tell you okay so now uh, let me tell you that the manufacturing section i will cover the the material science section also 
so if i have to tell you that how to study i mean how to go for the partial preparation for the material science so then there are some things that okay so uh, there is a rule called 80 20 rule okay that is applicable for every part of your life and uh, even for the gate syllabus so 80 percent of the questions comes from the 20 percent of the syllabus and the remaining 20 percent of the questions come from the uh, 80 percent of the syllabus so you have to find this 80 percent part okay and how can uh, you find this first understand that okay so how can you find this okay how to find right so uh, let me assume that uh, uh, you ha uh, you haven't start the manufacturing section uh, yet uh, you don't know uh, 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 you don't know uh, anything about manufacturing okay so then how to proceed okay so firstly firstly uh, just go to the previous year okay i mean there are at least some of the things like uh, uh, in material science there is a part called uh, crystal structure okay so crystal structure we all have studied in our 10 plus 2 levels okay so you can go through the uh, crystal structure part and believe me 90 percent of the questions are 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 from that knowledge only that we have gathered from our n plus 2 knowledge okay so from the uh, subject crystal structure just go down to the previous year papers previous year papers okay so go to the pyqs and uh, you will find that there are some patterns like there are some questions that are repeated not the same questions but the same concept yes believe me the same concept has has been repeated for many times and there is a particular reason for being repeated i mean uh, most probably the professors are eager to check that part of your knowledge uh, mostly okay so uh, believe me i am uh, giving you this roadmap for only those guys who are uh, willing to put some uh, effort okay so you have to research through the pyqs and make your own research to find out that that uh, what are the uh, uh, what are those 80 percent or sorry uh, that what are those 20 percent concepts from which the 80 percent questions are coming okay so and that will help you a lot and that has uh, helped me a lot so so this should be your uh, first step and now i will tell some of the chapters okay and uh, you just study them and you will find that 90 percent of the uh, questions and concept uh, had come from those chapters and concepts only in the pyqs okay so and the next step is go for any uh, decent test series okay test series so i personally uh, had appeared for the test series of exergic okay exergic then made easy okay and get voila okay so uh, again uh, i am telling that uh, not, that none of the uh, institutes have paid me uh, any amount i just appeared for them and that's why i am recommending obviously there are uh, many other uh, institutes uh, maybe and also maybe they are uh, they are also very good but i don't know because i did not have appeared for that okay so uh, apart from the pyqs if uh, if you go for any good test series okay 
so then also we will find that there are some concepts that are repeating uh, uh, i mean uh, that are repeating uh, in various tests okay so those concepts uh, you just note down obviously uh, from the PIQs also uh, just mark the concepts and note down the concepts uh, which uh, uh, which uh, you are finding to be repeated okay and go for that concepts in detail I repeat go for those concepts in detail so note down the concepts in your copy and study in detail okay study in detail it is okay now this will take time but the benefit is you are solving the PYQs you are appearing for the test series and at the same time uh, you are noting that uh, which concepts are repeating so uh, if you learn uh, like give me some example uh, I, I mean let me uh, give you some uh, example that is uh, let, uh, let me say that you don't know about the um, operation of rolling okay okay so in any of the test series questions you find some questions uh, uh, in rolling okay so now uh, you are not able to solve the question because of not uh, uh, because of not having the adequate amount of knowledge about rolling okay and in the next uh, so uh, first test series has gone and in the uh, so in the next test also uh, you are getting the same type of question now you are knowing that this type of question is being repeated so you have noted down that particular concept and you are knowing that okay uh, uh, that uh, from this part that uh, that uh, from this part of rolling uh, questions are coming okay and lastly uh, uh, you are deciding to study the chapter of rolling uh, in a uh, in depth okay so and therefore in the third series in the third uh, in the third test series you are uh, now uh, comfortable uh, enough for solving the questions from rolling okay so that is uh, how uh, you should proceed and progress uh, so how are you progressing here uh, look uh, uh, in the first two series uh, in the first two question sets you are not uh, you were not able to answer the questions on rolling but in the third series you are now able to answer the rolling questions so uh, you are appearing for the test and at the same time uh, uh, you are preparing uh, uh, yourself for the subject also and the and the same for the uh, uh, PYQs also uh, uh, let me say for the same uh, concept of ruling you are solving some PYQ and you are seeing that uh, question number uh, one uh, uh, is not being solved by you and also question number two is not being solved by you and you see that the uh, question number three is having the same concept as the question number uh, one so then uh, you just stop and just uh, try to gain the concept and after that uh, again start to solve the PYQs and and then you will see that the question number four is is also having the same concept of three but now you are able to solve and believe me 
there are 80 percent chances that these concepts uh, uh, will only get repeated the the concepts will be same but believe me from a particular concept there are uh, there are uh, thousands of questions that can be formulated okay so the concept uh, uh, is important don't try to mug up uh, you will learn only the 20 percent things but 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 learn those 20 but but learn those 20 percent things properly okay now uh, let me come to sorry let me come to my uh, analysis about the subject okay so for the material science iron carbon diagram is very important okay in any of the interviews okay in any of your uh, future uh, interviews if you put material science as your uh, uh, one of the favorite subjects then iron carbon diagram uh, uh, will surely be there okay and believe me or not uh, in this year also the gate 2023 the question from iron carbon diagram came okay so i mean now uh, just just uh, focus on this whenever i am saying the details that means everything everything of iron carbon diagram i mean uh, uh, where the phases are uh, what are the particular temperature uh, above which or below which the phase gets stabilized and what are the particular value of the percentage of carbon uh, above which and and below which some property gets changed okay and the name and the property and the microstructure of every phase okay so so this is the details of iron carbon diagram the name the properties and the microstructure of every phase be it be it ferrite austenite uh, cementite ladiborite uh, everything and cast iron is also being there okay i mean everything the details of everything okay so the uh, so if i have to now i am just uh, removing okay not removing let me just uh, put this anywhere else okay just give me some time just i have to put this okay uh, anywhere else and now let me write okay okay so okay so details of means uh, details of every phase it is of every phase which you can see in iron carbon diagram okay okay so cast irons are also their types of cast irons uh, everything okay okay the second thing is details of uh, heat treatment so there are annealing okay annealing and there are normalizing okay normalizing os tempering mar tempering okay os tempering mar tempering and all the things quenching the quenching media the graphs how should it uh, look okay and uh, i should uh, include here something actually heat treatment and uh, with this comes the ttt diagram time temperature transformation diagram okay so without this you will be not able to study the heat treatment properly so uh, in material science you are bound to study this one and two and so uh, in details if 
uh, if you are thinking that I will not cover all the things, then at least you have to study these two in details. And believe me, this is just 20% of the total material science. Okay. Now, and I have arranged these uh, topics uh, in a sequence of having the probability of coming in the gate paper. Okay. Now, the crystal structures. Okay. So, the crystal structures, the questions are basically very uh, simple that actually come in gate paper. So, you have to memorize or uh, you can derive uh, in the examination hall also. But uh, for I think uh, uh, it will be not be a challenge to memorize all the packing factors, the coordination numbers, the uh, slip direction numbers, the, the slip plane numbers of various structures means BCC, FCC, HCP, right, uh, simple cubic and all, okay, okay. Now, and there are very few mathematical formulae, okay, uh, which you have to revise like the uh, interplanar distance formula. Uh, it was like I don't remember uh, exactly because I am not uh, in the touch. Okay, so that is uh, uh, something I guess d h kelly calls to something a by h by l whole square. Uh, it was like that. Okay, so you have to remember this formula. Okay, and okay. So, and here are some other mathematical formulae, okay, like the, the density calculation, okay. So, this I have written uh, here only, the application of the formula of density. This formula we all have learned uh, in the chemistry part of 10 plus 2 level, okay. So, in this year also, the gate 2023, the question has come from this formula directly. All the things were given, uh, you were just supposed to put all the given parameters in the formula and uh, you are about to know the answer, okay. So there are very few formulae, okay. So uh, I am not telling you to study all the, uh, all the, all the details of the crystal structure, but only these things. But these two topics, you have to study in details okay now the dislocation theory comes okay now if you have time go for the dislocation theory in details and believe me this theory is very much interesting and this theory tells that uh, i mean uh, why a material actually fails uh, uh, why you are getting an upper yield point and lower yield point in a stress strain diagram and what is there behind the ductility of a material and why the material is uh, uh, becoming brittle and all and everything is uh, uh, everything uh, has the uh, explanation the proper explanation has come because of this is location theory only okay so now if you are not uh, uh, so, if you are not willing to study the dislocation theory in details, so only at least uh, uh, you should study the types of dislocation and the features of this type like the screw dislocation, edge dislocation and the mixed one there, okay, screw edge. So, these two are main and the and the features means the Berger vector, okay. So, the Berger vector is parallel to the, the slip plane for the screw and uh, sorry uh, for the, yeah, uh, uh, yes, for the screw and for and the Berger vector is perpendicular to the slip plane for the edge. So, these types of features uh, uh, you have to study and believe me, uh, at first, these subjects may look like uh, somewhat very, uh, the things to be marked up. But uh, uh, if you study from a good book or from a good teacher, then uh, uh, you will get the uh, interest. Okay. 
so and the types of defects like there are point defects line defects and surface defects so only the short type questions of marks 1 or the msq uh, theory based questions can come okay so this so uh, so this is the bare minimum requirement for material science uh, according to my study okay according to my research so believe me i have i have prepared by by uh, these four list only okay this four list only and and uh, at last uh, when i was uh, having some time i just uh, went through the details of the dislocation theory a uh, little bit actually not very in depth okay so okay now let me come to the okay so now mind it i always uh, want you to do your own research and make uh, this kind of a list okay and make this kind of a list okay now it, uh, let us come to the casting part so the uh, casting part uh, this shorinov's rule that is the time calculation for the solidification that is the time a is proportional to the uh, v by a uh, squared okay so this thing and this shorinov's rule and the uh, details of the grating system the mass the the time for uh, filling the okay so uh, here the filling sorry the mold filling time actually okay mold filling time for the bottom gate and the top gate okay and the details of the gating system okay i mean uh, what are the different components of the gating system like the sprue the right the sprue the sprue basin the uh, the gate okay the gate uh, itself and these all are called the gating system and the uh, the classification of the gating system and all okay so now comes the riser design a very important part and questions come from this riser design uh, like every uh, like um, uh, every year or maybe every alternative year okay so this riser design means uh, uh, what should be the dimension of your riser okay what should be the dimension of your riser and that uh, 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 you have to calculate by some of the concepts so there are Keynes methods. So there are various methods. Okay, there are Keynes methods. There are uh, there are modulus method. Okay, so these methods. So those are just uh, two or three methods. Mean two or three formulae. Okay, so you just have to memorize those formulae. And believe me, those formulas are not to memorize because the riser design thing and the and the time of solidification so these all things are very logical i mean uh, uh, here itself uh, why this happens i mean uh, why this happens actually that the time of solidification is proportional to v by a uh, squared uh, this happens why okay so you can think that uh, solidification uh, happens when solidification happens uh, when the liquid metal is is uh, losing heat so uh, more is the surface area the more uh, so uh, uh, more is the surface area there is more space to uh, the heat to be lost okay the uh, the heat to be lost okay because q equals to h a derivative right so more is the surface area so more will be the heat loss and uh, the as the heat loss uh, as the heat loss is more so the time of solidification will be less so the time of solidification is 1 by a proportional to 1 by a and 
mode is the volume mode is the volume q equal to mcp delta so more is the volume okay so more is the volume more is the mass and more is the uh, storage capacity of the material uh, more is the heat storage capacity of the material so more is the uh, heat storage capacity of the material then the material uh, will hold more and more heat and it will uh, i mean uh, it can hold more and more heat right so so that means the solidification times actually goes up i mean more time will be needed for the material to be solidified as the material is holding now more and more heat okay so that means temp uh, this time is proportional to the volume so ultimately the shorinov's rule said this will be this by this whole to the power n and this n is taken as 2 okay is taken as 2 generally so uh, if you take all the concepts of manufacturing most of the concepts of manufacturing like this then uh, then uh, we will not have to mark up the formula uh, uh, will be there in your brain automatically okay obviously there are some things that uh, that should be memorized okay there are no other options uh, other than memorizing but but uh, i will share that how in a scientific manner i uh, i used to memorize all the things okay now there are casting defects and applications of casting i mean there are various types of casting the sand mold casting the, the and very important is the centrifugal casting okay okay so i should add one thing here, uh, here that is the uh, math formula math formula from centrifugal casting okay uh, centrifugal casting because there is just one formula and that is also very easy and question can come so uh, so you can see that okay so there are various types of casting like centrifugal uh, hot chamber die casting cold chamber die casting and all and there are various applications like uh, like uh, for making pipes and the uh, uh, barrels of the guns the centrifugal casting method is generally used so the column matching things can uh, and some short type questions can come from these things so these two things you have to memorize okay so so i will suggest just memorize just try to memorize the casting defects by seeing their pictures not by studying that blowhole means that the gas is entrapped and because of that uh, the uh, because of that a particular hole is created so don't study like that just see the pictures of the de uh, defects so then uh, we will memorize uh, those uh, in a good manner actually okay and okay and one last thing is sprue design sprue design okay so so this is also a mathematical part believe me all these things okay uh, will not take much of your time to study like sprue design uh, is a matter of like 15 minutes maybe okay or max to max half an hour and gating system uh, is a bit long topic so it can take uh, uh, 45 minutes to max to max uh, one hour okay and shorinom's rule uh, should take off your 10 minutes okay so these things are not taking much of your time of your preparation okay but these are the 20 percent things and i am i am telling uh, again and again that just do your own research you can refer to this uh, these topics uh, if you don't uh, want to do your own research and uh, and if really uh, you don't have much time okay so now uh, proceeding there is forming 
so in forming there are lot of maths okay in forming there are lot of maths okay so uh, first of all all the formula of load calculation in in forging rolling extrusion and drawing so there, are, there will be some formula like f equals to k some big uh, expression into ln r by r naught okay so uh, these types of thing will be there and the okay another very important thing so true strain calculation okay so, true strain calculation calculation okay okay so the true strain calculation and the flow stress flow stress calculation calculation these are just two formula uh, uh, one is this i think you all know this formula by the strength of material subject and other is this okay e to the power i guess see uh, i don't remember this you can actually derive this very easily okay you can derive this actually very easily so base will be like this okay something there should be some coefficient okay there uh, should be some coefficient okay so this comes from the fact actually the equation of the this equation okay and now if you integrate sigma d this will give you the whole uh, work done so then it will be k epsilon to the power n d epsilon so then it will be k epsilon to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 okay so this is something called the flow stress into the total strain the total strain okay so then the flow stress should be this whole to the power n by n plus 1 so just see i so i was about to forget this formula actually but because of my concept i am uh, able to to derive the formula uh, here so this is the uh, so this is the power of understanding all the concept in very minute details okay so that is why i always tell learn very few things but at least learn in very detail and in very good concept okay so i am just showing you my tricks and my secrets okay because of that i am i am just uh, able to crack get uh, in a very short amount of time okay okay so now now uh, from all of these this uh, rolling part is very 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 important okay so all the mathematical formula of rolling okay so there are uh, uh, i mean all the mathematical formula means uh, uh, whenever uh, you are going to study the operation rolling uh, you have to go through the detailed derivation of the rolling power of the rolling torque okay i again repeat and i am writing here go through the okay go through the detailed derivation okay so during going through the detailed derivation you will be able to see all the formulas like the concept of forward slip the concept of backward slip i mean study at least this process rolling in detail okay and the 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 load calculation formula of forging rolling extrusion okay so in the load calculation formula only uh, uh, we will be um, having this term of flow stress we will be having this term of 
flow stress ok. Now coming to the next part various defects of forming this and obviously of rolling ok. You have to study all the things of rolling. So, various defects of forming this uh, you can uh, study with a bit little importance actually ok. Now, some details about ok. This sheet metal operations this bending, leaf drawing, shearing these are uh, important but the questions are not very critical mainly the multiple choice types questions or the not sorry not multiple choice the matching column types questions come uh, from here. So, just know that what is bending just know that uh, what is due drawing what is the operation ok and and there are some correlations of deep drawing and shearing. So, if you want this part is optional ok. I mean uh, you should go for this part, but uh, if you have, uh, but uh, if you had uh, really very less time then just go for these three, but in very details ok. Now, coming to the part of welding, coming to the part of welding ok. So, this thing characteristic curve diagram for constant current source ok and for constant voltage source ok these two things. The benefit and the advantage and uh, I mean the advantage the disadvantage and how the curve actually look like ok the equations of the curve all the things uh, you should have studied and there are high probability there is high probability that the question can come from this part and believe me the so this constant current part ok this so the graph actually looks like this phi i ok. So, now the C that here if I change the voltage I mean if I change the current a lot if I change the current a lot the change in voltage is very small. So, so uh, this is the graph of the constant voltage ok and this graph will have some uh, equation like V by uh, v by SCV short circuit voltage by I by uh, short circuit current and sorry OCV open circuit voltage and short circuit current equals to 1. So, this point this point is called short circuit current and this point is called open circuit voltage. So, this kind of a straight line uh, will surely we have a uh, equation of like this and this formula is having the application and uh, the application is very important and this concept is found to be repeated ok almost every alternative year ok and you are about to find the power the maximum power how can you how can you calculate the maximum power? So, P equal to V i and you know the, the relationship of V and i. Just put the V in terms of i or the i in terms of V and find f of i or f of b and then do either d p d i equal to 0 or d p d v equal to 0. So, these are the simple concept of mathematics. To solve this problem, you do not have to know even a more about of welding. You should just have to know this, this graph and this. So, this will get you solved a 2 marks question and this power actually comes V i by 2. I mean V sorry V O C V into I S C C by 2 
this p max actually comes okay okay so and different types of welding different types of welding so in welding you don't have to study much but at least the basics of different types of of welding i mean in submerged arc welding uh, what does actually happen okay at least these types of basics i mean uh, uh, what is the submerged arc welding this only this i think more about that okay and there are shouldering and bracing you can just study the basic features of shouldering and bracing okay shouldering and bracing so i am i am just writing here shouldering and bracing that's the basic study and this concept is very important i am highlighting this so this concept the existence spot welding so mathematical questions are about to come uh, at every alternative year or even it um, at uh, every year from this uh, from this spot resistance welding okay so the the concept is like this i am telling this concept because uh, during study uh, uh, you should have know that uh, yes uh, this was the concept that i was talking about so that uh, uh, you can relate to, uh, uh, so that uh, you can relate during your studies okay so there are two plates okay there are two different plates sorry okay and uh, here are the electrodes here are the here are the electrodes okay and so this is a circuit this is a circuit the current is flowing so so this is a resistance right and because of this resistance the heat will be generated and by the application of the pressure by the application of the pressure uh, here you will be having a weld nugget the material of these two plates will be melt and uh, will be joined by forming a weld nugget it is called a weld nugget okay so this concept uh, i was uh, telling and mathematical questions actually can uh, can um, come from this concept and just cover off uh, from uh, any of the standard books or any of the standard free youtube videos i will put all the links below okay okay so now okay so now moving forward now now moving forward let me come to the machining so machining is a very scoring part because the mathematics that is dealing with machining is all about geometry simple basic geometry and trigonometry so the, the detail understanding so detail understanding not mugging up i repeat not mugging up you should have the detailed understanding of the merchant of the merchant circle diagram okay and the application how it arises everything okay and the detailed mathematics of orthogonal cutting orthogonal cutting means this one okay so so uh, this is the tool this is the tool and this is the uh, alpha the rake angle and all and all the mathematics all the mathematics of orthogonal cutting okay all the mathematics of orthogonal cutting i repeat and the tool life calculation there is uh, one simple equation the taylor's tool life uh, equation constant and the the modified taylor's tool life equation that is v t, uh, t to the power n d to the power a f to the power b this d is depth of cut and and this uh, f is feed okay is equal to constant okay so 
these three things only these three things only these three these th uh, three things you are um, expected to study in details okay you are these three things you are bound to study in details in gate in gate 2023 also the question uh, from this came and believe me these are very scoring parts very 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 scoring parts because all this have just the basic geometry okay okay all this have just the basic geometry and uh, along with this actually this comes uh, on this NCD the uh, various okay various cutting force and power calculation power calculation okay so uh, so this is also very important and this actually comes with the uh, mcd okay the march and circle diagram so i am focusing in the machining a lot because uh, uh, this is a very probable and a very scoring part every year uh, question um, questions come from machining and the questions uh, only um, mathematically from this part and these parts are very scoring okay because all you have just the geometry and applications of various formula okay and now uh, if you have time uh, uh, you can go for the different types of chips the discontinuous chips the uh, the the continuous chips the chips with the build up edge okay and the the criteria of the formation of various chips okay and next the economics of machining this only have just two formulas okay this economics of machining just only have two formula and those uh, you have to just memorize because those are just correlations and tool geometry uh, yeah, you can study tool geometry and the tool signature okay so i will suggest you to go for the tool signature also okay tool signature tool signature and uh, so in the machining i think i have focused a lot but i have focused because believe me this part is very scoring i am telling this sentence again and again because it is okay now the non conventional machining don't uh, give you much uh, focus and uh, energy and this but but just go for this uh, there is uh, electrochemical machining just uh, grasp a basic understanding of electrochemical machining i mean uh, 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 what actually happens at ecm and uh, what is the basic formula of mrr material uh, material removal rate so material removal rate for uh, ecm so so actually this uh, uh, we all have studied uh, in the electrochemistry uh, in the 10 plus 2 level okay so this irr so this uh, mrr is nothing but the uh, this q okay q means the and q by the atomic weight by the faraday constant okay by the time at uh, uh, as it is the material removal rate so we have to go for the two equals to it okay and so it by af into t okay i think the atomic mass was here and the valency was here the valency was here so just a simple formula comes up i a by v f by rho uh, uh, so so this is the mass removal rate and if you are asked the 
volume remover rate then you just have to divide it by row right okay so this one formula is coming from the faraday's law that is mrr is proportional to q is proportional to the atomic weight and inversely proportional to the uh, valency so this thing we all have studied uh, in our 10 plus 2 level uh, electrochemistry okay so my point is uh, uh, if you study like this then you have to recall or remember a uh, very few things otherwise uh, if you try to mug up everything uh, without understanding then you have to uh, remember a lot okay so next thing is the uh, edm the um, electro discharge machining okay so just try to have the basic about the electro discharge machining about how it happens and there are some basic formulas and obviously go through the detailed derivation of all the formulas of electro of electro discharge machining okay the main concept is of the capacitance and of the rlc circuit that the basics of which we all have gone through in our 10 plus 2 studies okay so there are two three formulas obviously uh, you can mug up those but the basics if you go through the the detailed derivation uh, once and i suggest you to uh, perform the same once in your own copy then that will be retained uh, in your brain for a long uh, for a larger amount of time okay then the the main benefit it, uh, the main benefit is that after putting this much of effort you don't have to put much uh, effort for uh, memorizing all these okay because uh, you can derive all those formulas at the exam even you don't remember all those now these are very important and scoring the graphs for uh, water jet machining and abrasive jet machining and there are two more like those ticker now so the graphs means the mrr uh, versus all those parameters there is a parameter called nozzle tip diameter so like this the mrr varies so in the examination they will tell you that uh, show the variation of the mrr uh, will the nozzle tip distance or with any other parameter and they will give you four options in the mcq and you have to select uh, one of them okay so and last but not the least is the application so there can come a, a, a question of of matching column types okay so there will be listed some of the uh, non-conventional machining uh, processes and in the other column the the products that you get actually from those non-conventional machining processes okay so you have to match those columns okay so these things are more than uh, enough actually okay not more than enough these things are um, enough because uh, i have said that there is a luck factor because of which there is a chance of portion coming from the uh, uh, from the very few portion that uh, you are leaving okay so next i am coming to the cnc uh, again like machining this part is very scoring okay like machining this cnc part is easy plus scoring okay easy plus scoring. so there is a uh, so there is a concept of basic length unit and the basic concepts of movement of a nc system okay so i mean uh, you will find I am drawing these pictures and and telling this, uh, this these details of formulas for those guys uh, 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 who don't have even started to studying all these things. Okay, so there can be a okay stepper motor, stepper motor. There will be a stepper motor. Okay, and 
with the stepper motor there will be connected a let us say gearbox okay the gearbox so this thing i am saying for reducing the speed and with that there will be connected a lead screw and with the lead screw a machining let us say this is my tool okay this is my tool and this is a lead screw so pitch and lead given okay so the, the details of this and believe me uh, if you give your full attention to understand this the the maths of this whole thing okay because uh, yes to understand the details of, of a stepper of a stepper motor and all the parts of this cnc machine and there are two types of uh, cnc uh, systems like uh, like an open loop and a closed loop so to understand all of that you need a rigorous amount of time a large amount of time but my point is to understand just the basic movement just the basic movement that is how by giving pulses we give here the pulses how by giving the pulses this basic movement of this tool happens this uh, basic uh, equation at mathematical and mathematical relation i want you to understand okay this basic understanding uh, will not take more than uh, 20 minutes if you and and uh, if you uh, put your whole attention uh, it can be done in 15 minutes also okay and some uh, important cnc codes like g01 g02 there are many uh, important codes and i will uh, put some link of the um, crash course and the free uh, youtube videos and i will uh, and i will put all the links of free sources okay uh, you don't have to pay a single amount of money for uh, for uh, all those things okay so uh, in that free videos the lecturers have mentioned about those uh, important codes and those are more than uh, enough okay now let me come to the part of metrology and uh, inspection so this part is also very easy and scoring okay so uh, from the cnc believe me from this part only from this part only sorry okay so now just let me move some of the marks because uh, it is becoming a bit of a bit clumsy okay so believe me just from this this concept uh, every year the questions come okay from the uh, from the previous year also in gate 2023 also every year the concept is same but i have told you that that from the same concept thousands questions can be made okay now coming to the part of metrology and inspection so the concept of fit limit at and tolerance this is very very uh, important because this is easy and questions come from this part as well uh, every year every year okay is and uh, so uh, from these two part believe me uh, in a similar uh, way if you are putting your uh, whole attention to this this will take a maximum of half an hour okay half an hour to 245 minutes to understand all the systems and all the things and once you understand uh, you just uh, practice uh, some questions then the then the concept will be built in your mind okay and another thing the main thing is consistency okay in the gate preparation i will tell about all this uh, preparation hacks and strategies uh, in a separate video obviously uh, otherwise this video uh, will get uh, very long but uh, the main thing is consistency 
okay so that's why i used to appear for uh, one full mock test for last 60 days every day every day not a single day uh, uh, even there was days on which i just appeared for one full length test and i did nothing okay and i did nothing literally nothing i did not study a single word okay so that so that thing made my mind and made my brain uh, practice uh, at least uh, at least uh, once a day and if you are appearing for a full length test for the last few months then uh, you are uh, going for the practice for each and every topic of mechanical engineering and that is important okay because uh, uh, you have to remember or you have to be uh, you have to be comfortable uh, with the concepts right sorry so now um, so these two parts are very important okay and after that if you have time this part gauges okay so slip gauges plug gauge ring gauge so there are some calculations of the uh, of finding the upper limit and the lower limit of the dimensions of gauge so you can go through that and interferometry so this part is the uh, easiest okay easiest and in gate 2023 also one question came and just a simple a very simple formula okay so uh, the and the formula also can be uh, like uh, can be understood so in my preparation i I tried to understood all the formula so that I don't have to uh, remember them okay so it was like uh, uh, theta equals to some uh, n lambda by 2 okay equals to g by l so uh, so this was the formula and you were supposed to find the g okay and all the things n lambda and, and l were given okay so these types of formula and their applications are coming in uh, in gate so i will give a star to the uh, interferometry because uh, i will need just just 5 minutes to understand uh, interferometry but the part if the question comes there is not uh, there is a 50 50 chance uh, uh, you can say of coming questions but if the question comes the uh, you will uh, you will i mean uh, surely score okay and at last additive manufacturing and why i have kept this empty this part uh, here because i literally did not have uh, uh, did not study anything from additive manufacturing okay but if you study i will i am again saying that i am putting some link in the uh, in the description okay but uh, but if you study there are questions directly uh, from the very well known fact of uh, additive manufacturing that is the, uh, in gate 2022 there there was a uh, matching matching column type question okay so in that like uh, some uh, some processes uh, were given of additive manufacturing and some details of those processes were given in the other column uh, uh, in some uh, few words okay so you have to match those things so additive manufacturing i don't think uh, uh, it's that much important okay but question can come okay question can come and uh, in my case in 2023 uh, uh, if there was some question from additive manufacturing uh, in uh, uh, even a simple question then also i was not uh, able to answer those questions okay but now i am focusing on get 2023 specifically because in this year manufacturing questions manufacturing uh, questions were a bit trickier okay trickier okay 
but but uh, you can see that uh, you can solve most of the questions by your uh, common sense like like there uh, there was a question that uh, some uh, figure uh, was given like that like a parallelopiped okay so uh, you are to measure the distance from this face to this face okay so to measure the distance three points were given uh, here uh, uh, here one point and here one point again uh, here one point and uh, and uh, here one point and this and this so these three sets of points were given and you are supposed to tell the distance between these two planes okay now you can think that that uh, this is a question from that uh, inspection part okay now uh, from the basic understanding uh, what you are supposed to do so you can find these three distances from these three sets of points so ideally these three should be equal but due to defects in manufacturing these three should uh, should not be equal actually okay so the ideal case is if you give this problem to any uh, statistics student or if any class 12 student so uh, so then you are supposed to take the average of these three distances right so i solved this problem by my own common sense that i am that i am getting three distances and i have to take the average and believe me the original answer was the same the the average of these three and there was also another uh, uh, question of a box of a, this type of structure making okay this type of a structure making three boxes one top of each other so and by additive manufacturing i mean there was uh, something of uh, filling so so this was a question of a mainly uh, 3d printing okay so you can see that uh, uh, in your uh, college there should be a 3d printing machine okay so the same uh, question was uh, there and you are supposed to find the time required for the uh, for making the whole structure and the diameter of this was given and the feeding and the feeding velocity was also given and the dimension of the structure was given so uh, from the common sense what i did was the time equals to the total volume by the volume flow rate of the material so that should be pi d square by 4 into v so uh, after the gate many institutes gave the same solution but the actual solution uh, was a bit different but as this question uh, was challenged by many of the students uh, according to their own logical grounds so that's why uh, marks were offered to all the candidates who uh, uh, who uh, attempted these questions or uh, even uh, uh, if you haven't um, attempted then also the marks were offered to you that is called marks to all okay so mta uh, was given to these questions so this type of um, questions were there in the gate 2023 and and i was also the same thing that uh, i was also thinking the same thing that i don't know but uh, but uh, let me apply my uh, common sense okay so that's how i cleared the gate 2023 manufacturing uh, questions okay and uh, apart from that uh, from these things like informing in every year question from at least uh, from rolling or from this uh, extrusion at least from these two um, questions always come in every year okay but in this year not a single question came from that okay and from uh, welding also 
this vi curve was not there and this uh, this resistance welding was not there so that's why i said that there is a luck factor that is um, after uh, covering the 70 percent syllabus okay uh, there may be some questions they, uh, which are uh, out of those 70 percent okay but so but believe me if you are uh, covering the 65 to 70 percent then you uh, then if your luck is not so bad then uh, you should be able to answer all the questions of manufacturing okay so again i am uh, i am telling you and i request you to conduct your own research about making the list of your own content okay and and i have shared the technique that how should you make your own content of this of this type of list and also uh, you can go through my research also and study these topics okay so i hope that it helps and okay so there are uh, various things like memorizing okay so i am sharing just uh, one tip of memorizing and and it is very powerful okay so uh, once uh, you have made all the things that you have memorized and after attempting those test series you are writing that um, in your notebook just have your notebook uh, for at least 10 to 15 minutes or 30 minutes before you are going to bed at night okay so just not not try to memorize this very hard but just but just seeing those i mean just see those things just see those pages of your notebook that uh, that uh, i mean very frankly just see that this was the formula for which i was struggling uh, 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 in the test series or in the pyq just uh, see like that okay so that thing uh, will directly uh, uh, that that thing uh, will directly be retained on your subconscious mind and will memorize automatically and i did this for last uh, one year actually okay uh, from the time that i have uh, that i have started for appearing uh, uh, for the test series so i gave the gate 2022 uh, in my third year also so from that time i started for appearing for the test series and and uh, from the very first day i made that notebook and i was and i was uh, revising that notebook day by day okay so that's uh, so that is the major powerful technique that i uh, that i uh, used to memorize all the concepts okay so and i urge you to follow this because this is a scientific fact that is uh, before going to bed uh, whatever you see uh, with a deep uh, intention there should be a deep intention that is i have to remember this okay uh, that is just knowing the fact that i am seeing this copy because i want that these things just be written in my brain okay so just try this uh, thing okay and i think by by at least doing for uh, one week or one month uh, you should see the results and there is another way just try to mug up all the things and uh, you will forget uh, if you don't uh, take yourself in a constant uh, practice okay so that is the thing now i will share my experience and my strategy also and how to make your own strategy for get in a separate video so i think this video is already have made uh, uh, very long so thank you for today and best of luck for your gate preparation